Hi everyone, I'm Russ. I'm Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Priming the Pump Edition. That's right. All right, so we've been uh, exploring some Brook Lobby tonight. Yeah. And uh, it, wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be right if we didn't uh, go for uh, one, of the, uh, one of the premier expressions from Brook Lottie. Agreed. And that would be the Octomore. Now the Octomore is a, um, it's a green. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's the, I, I think that's a th the name of the farm where the where the green is um, sourced. Yeah, that's my understanding as well. Yeah, so uh, this one is heavily peated. Um, this one is a 59.1% mm -hmm. ABV. So the other the others that we've tried tonight are 50% yeah. and there are no slouches. This one's 51, uh, 59.1. And um, uh, this is uh, the 09.1. It's um, aged five years, so it's a relatively young whiskey. And uh, man, does this have flavor? Oh, flavor yeah. for days and no days and days. No in that regard. No. Yeah. So um, um, I recently reviewed this. Um, I've been doing uh, just single pour reviews um, uh, for either Whiskey Wednesday or our Nightcap Fridays mm -hmm. uh, that I've been posting on Instagram. And this is the first time we've actually done this as a priming the pump on yeah. uh, for your, our YouTube channel. Yeah, it's funny. We've we've covered these in many different ways, but we have yet to do priming the pump, so we are rectifying that. All right. Good lord. Yeah. So that is gorgeous. So yeah, no chill filter, no color added. Um, it's kind of a um, kind of a light um, honey color. Yeah, it's a very 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 pale light gold. pale pale yeah. gold. Yeah, there you go. But man, it's so but man, does gorgeous. it have glass clang? Yeah. No, that's a beautiful whiskey. Yeah, it really is. Now this one's a is very heavily peated, mm -hmm. and uh, they, you know, we know that the number is sort of arbitrary on here, but you know, it, um, it's a uh, 156, 156 parts per million. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's pretty heavily peated. What's interesting though is the nose. Oh, see now we just did the um, uh, the Port Charlotte, which yeah. is a heavily peated, and um, uh, we we saved this one for the last um, tonight. Yeah, and man, it's it's much more mild on the nose really than is. the uh, than the Port Charlotte. I'm getting was. more of the the fruit and the sweetness and things of that nature than I did with the Port Charlotte because the peat's not just killing me. Right, and I love peat, but yeah. This yeah. one presents very differently. All right, so um, um, so I mean, you're getting the peat and you're getting mm -hmm. the smoke on this, but I'm also picking up something, uh, some something buttery, maybe butterscotch. Um, and and there's definitely a fruit note going on there, but I, it's, the other ones were pear. This one I yeah. think is more like apricot. And the ABV is more present on this one, which that's to yeah. be expected. Oof. I know. Wow. Gotcha. That's a much spicier whiskey than the um, the Port Charlotte, but um, but man, the That's peat a, on that is just a nice mm. rolling peat. Excuse me while my mouth yeah. waters for the next hour. <laughs> Holy crap! I know, right? So wow. yeah, this one really actually gets your palate watering. It really does. I it, mean, it it wow. <laughs> So we're getting the uh, the spiciness from this from the uh, the yeah. barrel because I this is actually made in virgin oak I think. Um, I want to say I re maybe it was on the uh, the ten point three, but um, uh, distilled the mature Brooklyn. All I can say is it's it's like a warm hug. Yeah. Holy cow, man. Yeah. I, it doesn't say on the bottle. More depth and more complexity, more rounded I think, than some of the others that I've had. Yeah, it's uh, it's all that. So um, I mean, you're definitely getting the 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 peat and the smoke and everything. And there were elements on this that are very similar to the uh, mm -hmm. the Port Charlotte, but it's not nearly to that degree. And I think there's a balance between the mm -hmm. sweetness and the peat and the smoke yeah. in this that the others didn't really have. You go back for the second sip, and again, just as what well, just like we've experienced before, you know, the first sip's a bit of a shock to the system. But once your palate starts to acclimate, holy cow, it just like switches up on you. Mm. You know, I'm getting a hard candy note on the back. That's what I'm picking up. You know, that like I didn't a, get on the first sip. 
like a like a Werther's. Yeah. Like a Werther's hard candy, you mm. know, caramel candy. Yeah. Yeah, the peat kind of got pushed back a little bit and that that starts coming coming forward. Yeah, that starts to be present. You have to work a little bit to get there, but yeah. it's there. Wow. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, let your let the saliva kind of get with mm -hmm. it and and uh, man, it, it really starts bring it, bringing out some flavors. Mm. Oh man, I dig that. And I, I get that that uh, brooklotty grain barley note that yes. we've seen elsewhere. That through line continues. Yeah, it's it's, it's very brooklotty. You know what we found going to the uh, um, the Isla Barley mm. is um, that you know there's a it kind of gave us a through line through all of their whiskeys, and we can kind of tell a little bit about you know the you can kind of pick up the grains behind mm -hmm. it now. And uh, even though this is a different type of <clears throat> barley, um, and it's the uh, the Octomore barley, yeah, um, you can absolutely tell it's from that region. Well, and the, I think for me is it's such a part of their personality. If you if you look on their website, you look into what goes in here. They're very big on the grains that they use, and uh, bringing those to your attention. And I don't know how they're doing what they do, but they make that a priority in the flavor. Right. Um, it's definitely present in all of their products. This one, I really like the way it presents. Um, I like the fact that it has that through line with the other Brook Lighty products while being different. Right. You know, it's like, you know, we're not, you know, we're, we're putting the, like you said, we're, we're putting the grain forward. You're mm -hmm. going to taste, you know, what came out of this farm. You're going to taste what came out of this region. You're going to taste the peat from this yeah. island, and you're going to get all those things in here, and that's just amazing to me. Yeah, the fact that it isn't overwhelmed by the barrel or anything else. Um, mm. Now, that said, you do have to dig a little bit. You do have to go back a couple of times because that first sip, man, I'm, I'm not kidding. The waterworks just start in the <laughs> mouth. I mean, holy cow. I was going to have like 10 issue laces. <laughs> exactly, but let it happen. Yeah. Because, I mean, your saliva interacts with the uh, the whiskey, and it's going to help unlock those flavors. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, it's a... It's it's a great experience, and this is this is one that feels like an experience. Agreed. You know, like uh, you're not just drinking something, but you're interacting with it. Yeah, and it's look at the end of the day, if you were just getting into scotch, this is probably not where you want to start. But uh, if you've been drinking scotch and you like things with a little bit of peat to them, that's a good direction to go. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's actually a good point because if we were to you know start somebody off on the peat trail and everything i wouldn't even i wouldn't even point them at mm -hmm. isla you know right off the bat no. i would say okay well here let's try this talisker yep. you know you know maybe um, we get a little bit of that in the highland park you know let's let's introduce you to the 12 and then kind of mm -hmm. build them up into uh to trying an isla yeah um, but this one i think is for a little bit more of an experienced palate agreed um the peat isn't ashy i'm not really getting any ashy smoke or anything like that although we said the same thing about the port charlotte um I, I do like the way the peat presents on this. Mm -hmm. I like the earthy nature. I like the fact that it's not ashy. Just works very nicely. Right. I think we uh, described the previous as like a kiln. Mm -hmm. You know, like the the wood in the kiln. You get that little. You get the wood scent of that, but it yeah. burns so clean. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. I, I I really get that here. Yeah. Some of the other ones we've had were keep damp campfire or you know bonfire by the ocean. This isn't any of those. It's like a really clean burn. Um, but yeah, wow. I'm yeah, thoroughly sure. impressed. All right, so our scale is from one to five. One is like, uh, yeah, we're not going to um, drink this ever again, to five, which is, uh, yeah, no one else is touching this. Yeah. Ah, jeez, this is a tough one. Um, I'm going to go four and a half. Yeah. I, I'm borderline on five, but I think I'm going to go four and a half. There's a couple others I might choose over this one, but just barely, and it would depend on my mood. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I'm with you. I, I have a I have a love for Islas. I have a love for Smoke and Peat, um, but tendency the uh, the tendency of my five seems to be the sweeter whiskeys with a little Agreed. bit of a you know fruit forward nature to them. I like that dramatic contrast between the peaty, smoky, and then the fruity right. and the light. Um, and this one tends to be pretty dark for the most part, as far as the flavor profile is concerned. Um, so yeah, a strong four and a half. Strong and like I and said, in the right mood, I could probably go five. But uh, I think there might be a couple others I might choose over that kind of. Yeah, I'm kind of with you, but man, I'm I really anxious to try some of the uh, 
We have cool. some unopened bottles too, and <laughs> man, once uh, once these are done, we're gonna we're gonna break into those. Yeah, no, nah, hell of a whiskey. Really enjoy it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. All right. Well, we really enjoyed being here with you. Take care. All right. Bye.